Hi, welcome to this video. So this video is a part of the popular Udemy course on hands-on natural language processing using Python. So if you really enjoy this video, then make sure to check the description section where a special coupon directly to the course is given. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this NLP tutorial. So in this video, we are going to be learning about another text modeling technique, which is called the n-gram modeling. Now, till now, we have been talking about the two different techniques, right? So the binary bag of words model, where we represented text as zeros and ones. Then we have talked about the TF-IDF model. We have, you know, here, there we have represented the text as some decimal numbers and so on. So in this video, we are going to be talking about another modeling technique which is completely different from the TF-IDF or the bag of words model and it is used in some different types of applications. So let's get started. So before we get started with the ingram modeling, you need to know about some specific things, you know, and one of them is the mark of chains. So what are mark of chains in the first place? Well, you can consider mark of chains to be a chain of states, right? So you can have a chain of different states, say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and so on, right? So these may be the different states. And when you write them in a sequence, so you get a chain of different states, right? So you go from state A to state B to state C, and so on, right? So these are simply mark of chains. Now let's just explain it deeply. So we have here A, which is a state. We have here B, which is again a state, right? And we have these probabilities over here. So the probability of going from state A to state B is 50%. And the probability of staying at state A is again 50%. The probability of going from state B to state A is 50%. And again, the probability of staying at state B is 50%, right? So we have these two states and we have all these probabilities over here. So what are you going to do with them? Well, say your initial state is state A, right? Now, based on these probabilities, you can choose any one of them, isn't it? Because all of them have 50% probability and so on. So say you are at state A, then you can go to, you know, you can just stay at this state, right? So you have the probability of staying at state A to be 50% and you can just write here A, right? So the probab, you just, you are at A and you are staying at A, right? Next, you can go to B because the probability is same as 50%. Then from B, you can go to, you know, to A back again and when you do this, you know, you can just go from here, here to there and, you know, from A to B and B to A and then it's A to A and so on. So you will pretty much create a sequence of different states, right? And that's what we have done over here. We have created a sequence of states, which is A, A, B, A. So this sequence or chain of states is called the mark of chains. So this is the concept that you need to have and we are going to need it when building the ingram model and so on. So let's see. So what are ingrams? Well, according to Wikipedia, we have, you know, an ingram is a continuous sequence of n items for a given sample of text or speech. Now let's just, you know, remove this speech from here. We don't need to know about the speech. So an ingram is a continuous sequence of n items from a given sample of text. So what are these n items? We can say, you know, n is like a number, right? So we can have two items, three items and so on. So it's a continuous sequence of some items, right? Now these items are the different states, you know, when we talk about the Markov chains, right? So here's the mapping. These items are the different states of the Markov chains. And these items can be characters, these items can be words or these items can be sentences and you can even increase the scope, right? You can even make it articles and so on. So we have the n-grams are like a continuous sequence of say three number, you know, three characters or three words and it can be two words or two characters and so on. So that's pretty much what is an n-gram by definition. So we will look into that a little deeper. So when n is 2 then we call it bigrams and when n is 3 then we call it trigrams and you can you know pretty much increase the value of n and you will get some more grams and so on so in case of character n grams 
we are considering characters to be the states of the mark of change right so we had the mark of change right so where we had you know this state a then from state a we can go again stay at state a or we can pretty much go to state b and so on right so here the characters are the states of the mark of change and let's see what really you know what it really means so here we have this sentence the bird is flying on the blue sky so what we want to do is we want to find out all the different engrams from it so here we have done that so this is the sentence the bird is flying on the sky and here for n equals 2 we have the different bigrams from it right so what are the different bigrams can we get from this whole sentence well the first bigram can be th the second bigram can be he the third bigram can be e and space then space and b then b and i then i and r then r and d and we can pretty much get all the bigrams right over here so you get it right what we are doing we are considering a window of two you know of length two and we are selecting every single word we can select right so first window is over this right which we selected the th and in the next window we selected he and then in the next window we selected e and space and then again we selected space and v so we pretty much you know move the window by one you know by the stride of one and we start at the very beginning so we get all the different you know two characters that appear together in the whole sentence because so this is these are the very different types of bigrams that are available in this sentence and then we have you know we have done the same thing for the trigrams as well we selected three characters and we pretty much increased the stride by one so we got you know the at first then we got he space then we got e space b and so on so this is you know this is how you can get the character in grams so let's just look at a much more visual example so here we have the bird is flying on the sky and you know we are considering only the trigrams so for trigrams the window size as i mentioned is three right so we have you know this trigrams table over here in which we are going to add all the different trigrams so here we have the bird is flying on the blue sky which is a sentence right so the first time the window is over here right the window is on the so we have we are going to select this trigram and we are going to list it in the table and after we are done with that then this window will move to the right by one stride so this is what this window will look like so we here have you know space h and e then we are again going to move the window so we have e space and b then we have space b and i then b i and r then then i r and d and so on so you know like this you can get all the different trigrams in the whole sentence right but okay we got the trigrams but how are we going to you know pretty much use the trigram and so on and what type of information do we have by storing these trigrams we don't have any information we are only extracting the different trigrams from this sentence and this pretty much means nothing isn't it how are we going to use this information to do any type of analysis well we will use this to track the next character following the trigram so we will have something like this so you know we have created kind of a dictionary over here isn't it so we have the different trigrams and then we have the character that follows that trigram right so we have the and a space follows the right so we have a space over here then we have space he which is another trigram and the word b or the character b follows this space he so we have written it over here similarly we have e space and b and the word you know the character i follows it so we have written here i then the space bi or the yeah the space bi which is followed by the character r so this is the pretty much the structure that we are going to build so we will have different sentences and we will extract all the trigrams from those sentences and we are going to you know track the different characters that follows those trigrams right so now let's talk about another different types of engrams which are the word grams so you know here we have words as the different states of the mark of chains 
So say we have this same example, the bird is flying on the blue sky. So, you know, we are again considering only the trigram. So n is three, the window size is three. So we are going to start right over here. So as you can see, in case of the word, we have selected three words, right? We haven't selected three characters. We haven't selected the only, we have the bird is. So these are the different words. So this is our first trigram, right? So next we are going to move this window by one stride and here the stride would be a word, not a simple character. And this is our next trigram, which is the bird is flying. Then we have the next trigram, which is, is flying on, then flying on the, then on the sky and the blue sky. So we got all the different trigrams that we could find in this whole sentence. So now we are going to do the same thing that we did in case of the character engrams, which is tracking the next word, right? In character engrams, we tracked what is the next character that follows the trigram. So here we are going to track what is the next word that follows this trigram. And we will have this, right? So the bird is, and it's followed by the word called flying. Then we have bird is flying, which is followed by on. So, you know, here we have bird is flying and on is the word that follows it. So similarly, we are pretty much, you know, defining all the different words that follow a specific trigram and so on. So in this way, we can, you know, pretty much find out all the different words or characters based on your needs, whatever type of trigram you're creating, whether it's a character engram or it's a word engram or sentence engram and so on. So now let's find out how can we really use these engrams and you know what are the type of applications that we will be building later on using these engrams and so on so you know here we have the trigrams right so the bird is flying and so on but you know here we only had one sentence in our data set right so we only found the different trigrams for a single sentence but say we are looking at a huge corpus of data right which contains a bunch of sentences so in that case this is not going to be a single word right because you know the phrase the bird is or the trigram the bird is can appear in a lot of sentences it's not a thing that you know it has to appear in only a single sentence and so on it can appear in a single sentence but it can also appear in a lot of other sentences so you can have more than one word following this trigram right so you know this is what i'm talking about so the bird is this trigram can be followed by the word flying it can be followed by the word eating and it can also be followed by the word sleeping similarly bird is flying can be followed by the word on or it can be followed by the word through or it can also be followed by another on and so on right so you know corresponding to each trigram we are going to have a list of different words that can follow that trigram. We are not going to have a single word. The reason we had a single word right over here is that we are only, you know, we were only talking about a single sentence and we really had no scope of finding a, you know, a list of words following that trigram and so on. So we have this, right? So now let's find out how can we use it. Well, this is what we are going to input to our trigram, you know, trigram analyzer or something like that. So using this trigram model, we are going to build an autocomplete system. So in that system, you are going to pass a specific trigram. So you know, if it's a character engram system, then you can pass say THE. And if it's a word engram system, you can pass these three words. And what it's going to do is that it will use the trigram dictionary that we are going to build and it will give you a complete sentence. So let me just tell you what really happened. So here we have the trigram the bird is, right? So, you know, these three words can follow the trigram the bird is, right? We can have the word flying following the bird is, we can have the word eating following the bird is, and we can also have the word sleeping following the bird is. So out of this list, we need to select a single word that will follow right so there are many strategies to select a specific word following this trigram but we are going to use the most basic type of strategy which is selecting any word at random 
So say we have these three words and we select any word at random and we got flying, right? So we are only considering the best case over here. So we have now we have the bird is flying. So we have appended flying to the existing trigram. So the next what we are going to do is we are going to find out what is the word that follows bird is flying. So initially the trigram was the bird is. We found the word flying from the list and we appended it to the existing trigram. So we had a sentence of four words and now we have you know move the window right so here we have bird is flying as the next trigram and we need to find out what is the word that follows this trigram well bird is flying is followed by on and through right so it is followed by one twice and that is the reason why i have written here on two times and it is also followed by the word through once so we are going to select any word from this list of words at random and say we have selected this on over here right so we have the bird is flying on so next again we will have is flying on which is our next trigram and then what we are going to do is we will find out what is the word that follows is flying on well there is a single word which is the so we can just put the over here then we have the next trigram which is flying on the and flying on the has blue and orange we are again going to select a word at random so we will have say blue then on the blue is our next trigram and we will you know kind of select sky over here because sky is the only word that follows on the blue so we will have sky over here so our next trigram is the blue sky so what follows it well it's followed by a single full stop so we will just put the full stop over here so our next trigram would be blue sky full stop and as you can see that in the database there is no such trigram that's you know the blue sky full stop and so on and whenever we find that you know whenever we find that oh well there is no such trigram which is you know in the list then we can pretty much stop it right we can just stop over here and we will have the sentence so we have the bird is flying on the sky which is our simple trigram generated sentence right and you know we have only considered the best case over here then that's the reason i have written here the bird is flying on the sky and also a full stop but as we are selecting at random you can again get something like this the bird is sleeping and you know the bird is flying on the orange and something like that and we have stopped here the reason is because we don't have any trigram of bird is sleeping or on the orange or something like that so this is all about you know the ingram modeling and what we are going to do using this ngram modeling we are going to build this text filler or you can say this autocomplete feature so you can already guess right where this ngram models are used well they are used in your smartphones you know when we are typing a message to be sent to someone then you know we type a word right so we say we we have to type the word entertainment then we just type enter you know enter and then we type a t then google continuously suggests us the different words right so it's it can suggest us entertainment or you know entertain or something like that so all of that are you know applications of character engrams right so whenever you you look at some kind of a word fulfilling application then it's pretty much an application of character engrams so you know we can do it right so in case of words you know if you just pass the character engrams right so you know you you are passing the engrams right you are passing enter right so that enter is a five gram and what google has to do is it has to complete all the words that are possible to be built using enter and it pretty much gives you the suggestion of all those words right so entertainment entertain and so on so you have all the different words and then you can pretty much select the word that you need similarly when you are searching in google about a specific topic then google is using mainly the word engrams right so you write a part of a sentence and it auto completes the whole sentence for you so you can guess right so what are the huge type of app you know, what are the different type of applications can be using the engram model and we are pretty much going to be building something like that and article autocomplete system so you know that's pretty much it and 
if you want to know more about this ingram modeling then this is a very good article that you can follow on rx nlp and you can get a much more deeper understanding you know the maths and all that behind this ingram modeling and so on so that's pretty much it and in the next video we are going to be building our own ngram model from scratch using python and i will see you right over there